So currently we are in Boston and we're gonna visit NK Labs, the guys that are building the Project Ara prototype. So we're at NK Labs. Uh, NK Labs is an engineering company and uh, we uh, develop uh, creative solutions to challenging problems in uh, electronics and in scientific instrumentation. Seven people work here. In this project, of course, Google had a whole team of industrial designers and uh, user experience researchers. We, we met, we had a lot of whiteboard sessions, so when we saw the industrial design models, it was, it was really cool. The, uh, when they brought out the prototype and started showing it around to everybody, we said, wow, this is going to be cool if we can get this thing to work. So, so the first step is figuring out how is this going to work, right? What are going to be the functions of the different parts of the system? And then from there, you go to selecting specific components, and then you go to uh, drawing schematics where you have the blocks representing each one of the, of the components. And once you have a layout, then you uh, get the boards fabricated. It's, it's magical when you open up the box and see, oh my goodness, that's, that's the thing we've spent all these months designing, right? When you first apply the power, it's called the smoke test. And the reason it's called the smoke test is because your, your primary thought at that point is, you know, is, is this thing going to start smoking, right? Is it, gonna, is it gonna overheat because there's some critical error or not, right? And so once the board passes the smoke test, you know, then you spend time in the lab testing all the functions of it, making sure that it does what you expect. And then once you have that, once we have the individual pieces working, then we put them together into the complete system. Uh, here we have uh, the phone, the first prototype of the Ara phone. Uh, we've uh, made some uh, mechanical improvements to get the connectors to fit more reliably. What we have today is an LED module, battery, the application processor, loudspeakers, and a USB charge port. Spiral 1 prototype, 50% of the space on the module is taken up for modularity, and so there's not as much space for the developer's uh, function. But in Spiral 2, Toshiba made uh, custom chips for us, and uh, in Spiral 2, most of the area should be available for, uh, for the developer's function.